Hey everybody, it's Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com and joining me today is Dylan because he's here to help me show you how the cool hockey players spend an hour of their time doing a little off by stick handling and shooting. You ready to get after it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's begin. For this first warm-up drill, how about a little wiffle ball hacky? We start out with the yellow softball size one, tap it in the air a few times as needed, and see how many back and forth we can make in a row. Then we move to the smaller baseball size white ball, and finally to a lighter red ball for the final rotation. Man, I gotta work on my game. I was the one that ended the streak all three times. Next we progress to doing forehand and backhand slip unders. Four times and then end with a forehand shot. Start on the opposite side so now you're finishing up with a little backhander top shelf. From there it's time to do some straddle sweet hands. For this first round, he's using a heavier steel ball, which forces him to be more aggressive as he moves through each of the openings forward, around the top, and then backwards back to the starting point. Then I had him spend a couple more minutes using a puck weight ball, just trying to get through the pattern clean and smooth. After a quick water break, we went over the forehand spin escape move. He starts moving towards the sidewall, with me cutting him off. Makes a quick stop. Does the forehand spin, separates to the middle of the room, and rips a forehander. Then he begins on the opposite side of the room, does the backhand spin, followed by a backhand shot. Now we progress to one of my two line sequence drills, two puck pull across. He'll be using the yellow lines, pull the puck closest to his feet across the body, placing it on the opposite side line. Go back to the original side, grab the second puck and pull it across the body and place it ahead of the other one. Repeat this pattern shuffling forward and end with backhand and forehand shots. After a few reps, he'll then do the same pattern moving backwards and again and each trip away from the net with a backhand and forehand shot. Moving on, right now I'm showing him how there's a grip change that happens when using the toe of the stick blade. The knob slides down to your fingertips and all you have to do is press the magic button for instant toe drags. Before I get Dylan moving, he's first going to start the puck on the forehand in front position. Push the puck forward, bring the heel of the blade up, stopping the puck on the toe of the blade. Bring it back to the blue line starting position, stopping it near the heel of the blade and then repeat. Then I have him add a quick 1-2 dribble, then do the toe heel. Try to be nice and smooth. The last version is a 1-2 toe heel in front of the body. Now it's time to add forward movement. The red line will be his home base. Dribble 1-2 back and forth over the red line. Toe heel over the white line in between the two pucks. Back over to the red line and repeat moving forward, finishing with a backhand shot. After a few rounds, he did the same pattern moving backwards and in with forehand shots. If you want to become a dish and magician, you need to be working on your passing. He starts by dribbling in front of the body. Once I roll the puck, he quickly moves his into his forehand passing position, makes the pass and knocks the roller down. Don't think I'd forget about backhand passes. The players I work with aren't half a hockey player. We work on backhand passes. The last two drills he'll be trying to flip or pop the puck on top of the net. First, he'll be using the forehand toe to flip it on the net. This is all about developing a little touch. And finally, he'll be stepping away from the net, pulling the puck with the forehand. Once it gets to the middle of his stance, he tries to pop it on top of the net with the backhand. Though it didn't work out for him this time, you can bet he'll be practicing this one once he gets home so he can show me that he finally achieved it. Hey Dylan, you know why I'm so excited? No coach, why? Because you just got a little better. And that's how this operation works, people. You chip away at it year after year. And if you hang in there long enough, you're gonna be laying in your bed one day and you're gonna say to yourself, holy cow, I'm really good. And you got that feeling because you put the work in and you earned it. That's the journey this guy's on. Excellent effort today, and we'll see you next time.